get some here at uh, Ihubert Diocese, one of the Methodist dioceses in the own conference area of Nigeria. I actually came to meet my boss, Right Reverend Dr. Sisi Ekebisi, is a bishop of the Diocese of Hubei. I've been hearing of a lot of exploit that he's doing in the entire diocese, so I needed to come around to see and also to contribute our own quarter from Beko Farm Enterprise. So I'm here to look at one of the projects that he has actually undertake since he was posted to Ihube Diocese. I'm here at the mill, the oil mill, Methodist uh, mill Ihube Okiwe. So it's my pleasure to meet with the, one of the directors at the oil mill. My brother, good afternoon. Nice good. meeting with you. Good afternoon. Please, can you tell me your name and the entire world that are listening to us right now? Good day, my people. Good day. I am very reverend in Okay, okay. Well, nice meeting with you, sir. Nice yes. meeting with you. Yeah. Okay, sir, can you tell me about, I'm told that uh, you are the one of the directors here that is controlling this mill. So can you tell me what is happening here, what actually brought about the establishment of this mill, what you people are into at this place? Okay, the dances of Ihube from um, the onset of uh, December 2001, okay. when a new bishop came, he has an idea of moving the diocese out from tithe and offering okay. into investing into different areas. Okay, multiple streams of income to help, to the, help church. the church. So Lovely. that we will not be basing on only tithe and offering. Okay. And the idea came up during the last year's synod. The synod agreed that we'll have a project that will help the diocese to diversify from the area of income. But this was the sole idea of the bishop? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. All right. Yes. right. Because one, during the synod, after giving him so many ideas, he said, okay, let's go into farming. Okay. And one of the farm areas we entered into is oil palm produce. Okay, I've seen a lot of machines mm. here. Can you explain what so what is this one? What is it up to? In oil palm produce, okay. this is a meal. Okay, this is the entire meal. This section is a complete meal. Okay. This is another section of a complete meal. So All right. we have two meals in one here. Yeah. Okay. So in this meal, the palm nut, as you can see, these are palm nuts. Okay. Ten nine head pounds in one bag. Okay. Bought from a place or brought from maybe different areas that will heap it here. This palm nut, when you remove it from the bag, it will be poured here. Okay, that this, was, yeah. this is what we call the conveyor. Okay. Its job is to take the palm nut down to the plate where the thing will enter into the kettle. Or you call it the pots. Okay. This two contains one ten head pounds of what you are trying to say nut. that you don't need to go through the normal process no. of trying to boil it this is a mechanized way okay of okay interesting interesting all this right. is another way of oil milk okay so in this little mechanized way the conveyor converts the palm nut okay while the kettle cooks it okay then how we have what we call the boiler okay. look at it at the screen all right see it here this boiler is for cooking the palm nut it's a boiler when it is heat okay the water there will boil and the steam will enter into this pot. Okay. Ten minutes, one kettle will be done. Okay. Another ten minutes, this one is done. All right. So while when you open up the kettle, the palm nut. Please, can open it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So when you open it, the all the palm nut will, will enter drop into the digester. Okay. While the steam is on, the digester will mill it. After milling this. We we'll now open water, hot water from another boiler. Okay. Can we can you show me the, the yes. another boiler there? Okay. This hot water helps in cooking the oil itself. Okay. The oil. The this oil. Time this one is purely the oil. This okay. one cooks the palm nut. Okay. So when that hot water ends, enters here, because our own digest is not the normal type. This one have where well, we are perforated on that. Okay. All the oil and water will flow from here. Okay, we we'll run down to a container where the owners of the oil will now fetch the oil raw. Okay, from this stand. Half boiled. Okay. 
then move it to where they will do the final boiling. Okay, down there. And separate the oil and the water. Okay. Then it will enter into the gallons that we'll show you now. Okay. Can we see the gallons? Can we see the gallons? Yes. When the oil enters into the gallons, each one contains about 30 liters of oil. Okay. Not too So these are the processed oil. This are is, processed oil. That's good for and consumption. And we will we, we produce... 30, 40 gallons a day. Every day. Every day. Wow. So long as there is farm. Okay. That's interesting. So this one are finished products. Okay. If you open it, it is no more half boiled. It is finished. Can and we just take a look at the nature of the oil produced here? Can we open one? Let's look at it. Can you bring the camera closer? When you open this, you will see that this is pure oh, red oil. Red wow. Oil. So interesting. And so it will be like this for the next one, one year. Wow. It will not congeal. Wow. Because it is half boiled in the boiler, okay. finished boiled in the plate there. Okay. So this is pure red oil, good wow. for cooking. You can see it. It's not the one people are selling in the markets that are being no. mixed with a lot of things. This is so this is actually very natural, which is very good to health. Yes. So we recommend it to people that wherever you are in the Igbo land, whether you are from Enugu, you are from uh, Bonny State, you are from Imo State, Abia State, Wherever you are, you should run to Methodist Mill in Huber. Get pure oil. Just if you can't get the location, you will see our phone number just in the comment box. Just call us, we'll link you up to the place. Okay, can you tell us more about the place? So, in this place, uh, like the diocese have been able to employ not less than 20 workers. 20 workers. Yes. That's interesting. Helping this human empowerment. Yes. Okay. So the church can also do this. And so, other people are coming in for labor. Okay. Daily labor. Here. Okay. You can make your own daily living. Okay. By helping people that bring in their things to be yes. worked on here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Can we talk about this one? Is it the first so, machine? So this is the second meal. Okay. That first meal, what it does, this one does it. the same thing. The same thing. Okay. So because this of the, maybe a lot of there. customers coming around to do, like that's why we have been able to establish. cannot. Wow, quite, quite interesting, quite interesting. Yeah. See, they see, it's doing the same work like the other one. Yeah. So this yeah. is where the finishing yeah. work is done. Good. Yeah. Okay. This one is from Kratom. Kratom, talk of Kratom. Okay. So, talk about Kratom. I don't know. What is happening here to us also? Like here, whenever the oil is being fetched from the mill down to this spot, it takes another 10, 20 minutes. This will boil okay. to 100 degrees centigrade boiling point. Okay. You can see now, after boiling, the water will separate, separate from the oil. oil. Okay. They will the now oil. fetch the oil. Okay. And okay. this water will be going into the gutter now, okay. down to the pit, okay. where we dug for it. All right. Let me also say this. You know, we, we are trying to agitate that uh, nothing should be waste in our environment, we recycle. Okay. Yeah. So I also want to say that putting them there is, is a waste of things that we should have used as byproduct. So yeah. this can be recycled in, to in, be useful in, in as much as agriculture is concerned. Yeah. Okay, in, the, in my own little knowledge all right. of recycling all this, okay. there is no waste product in palm nut. Sure, sure. So, this, so what is your plan as one of the directors in this place to make use of this product I'm seeing so, as to be waste now? So that it will not be a waste, rather it will be a byproduct. It, it, it is being used as a byproduct to feed pigs. Okay. Then two for manure. Okay. Pure organic manure. Manure, all right. Where, as you are looking at it there. Okay, at that place. Yes, we will pump it out to another pit where it will be mixed with fresh leaves. Okay. It becomes pure organic manure, manure. that will serve any farm okay okay quite interesting can we talk about the there's so another machine here whenever see? palm nut has been finished oil came out okay you have the palm kernel okay that palm kernel is another source of living all right eh? when you put the palm kernel here we call this thing the cracker can we see the inside uh, all right this cracker is being built by the Women Fellowship of the Diocese. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> In order to help also help the diocese to be making money apart from normal levies and tithes and offerings. All right. So when this palm kernel enters here, 
this cracker and can okay all the chaps begins to suppress from okay. okay so while i will talk about this engine okay the engine that helps us in doing this is lister okay this is the lister yes this lister machine china made a very powerful one okay pmx 11 15. Okay. This one is about 20. Right. So it drives all the machine here once. All of this machine once. once. Except if you want to make use of one. Okay. It drives this wheel, this wheel, and the pump canal working machine wow. once. Wow. Right. So that is what is going on here. Yeah. Okay, so like I said before. Like I said before, I'm here at a uh, Hube Diocese. Yeah. A visionary leader was posted here and he decided to turn around the entire diocese. This place, and we show around, this premises I was told that it was like a thick forest. But when a man of vision comes in, he saw opportunity in the forest. And he has been able to convert this place to what we are seeing today. So I want to encourage everyone there that whatever you are doing, you are living around the evil land, rush to Opiwe, Ihube, Dalsis. Go and see what is happening. Other people can also learn from there. That is the, the first part of the vision. Okay. The second part of the vision of the mill is that in the next five years, you can see those palm trees there. Okay. We brought it in from other farm. Okay. Oh. It is called Tenera. Tenera, okay. And that Tenera we are planting. In five years coming, you will be getting heads of farm not from it. Okay. We are envisioning that in the next five years, these diocese will not be buying farm not. Okay. They will have more than 3,000 trees planted around this. To be city. processed here, be processed direct. Here, direct for that. themselves. Okay. And by then, the diocese will lack nothing. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, my brother. Nice meeting with you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>